Hey, welcome back. This is actually the same play session because uh, I decided that I still really want to play this. So I started looking around and I, I came back here because I think maybe Plant Lady can help us get across the bridge. I haven't talked to her yet, so I don't know for sure yet, but let's talk to her right now and find out. Hello. I, um, have something to ask of you. Yes? It looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken and... That's right. The bridges... You... You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah. Is it possible? Difficult. Bridges are in very specific locations over water. Need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. An undertaking. Uh. But possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Please stand back. What happened? Are you okay? Are you... So we could save her in the other world, but not in this one. Alright, so we can pass this bridge now. Cool! There's another place we can go across. Um, and there's some random vines here. Let's go across here, because I don't think there was anything... There was just some extra stuff here last time around, I think. <laughs> we can go down here. Robots! Some lines just grew around this bridge. Almost as if it was an intentional repair effort. Yeah, almost. Do you know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? I have a battery integrated into my system. It cannot be used to power other things. Uh. Have you checked the power room? The research station is currently experiencing some technical difficulties. I can tell. Even the bridge on the way here was... Are you sent by Dr. Silverpoint? No? Oh, carry on then. By the way, do you know where I can find a battery? Anomalies are increasing. Would you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? What is a flying machine? Never mind. Can't go down there. Ah, it's this place. Can I steal all your power? Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. Would you ever know where I could find a battery for the flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is, but any sort of large machinery would require a high power, high capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. All right, I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing in the barrens, didn't we, Chris? Yep, long time ago. If this is an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh, that was easy. Oh, wait, but if we take the battery here, all you guys will lose power, wouldn't you? 
Maybe Chris and I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. I guess we have no choice but to take this, Chris. It's okay. Once the world is saved, they can get another one. We had powered it. And I'm going everywhere with the journal out. Just in case, you know, it starts splashing some random spot. We get a side quest or an achievement or something, you know. The bridge to the forest was just restored. The village of Acuis should be able to better find better fishing, better spots, better here. <laughs> the plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Nothing. No. What about over here? Nothing. Gotta check. Can we do the minigame again? The land fragmentation is happening faster and faster and faster and faster from faster and faster. But it looks like the vines are slowing and slowing and slowing it down. Oh, hey, Shepard. You know we have to. What a day. No minigame for me? Hmm, nothing's biting. A few small fish are in the bottom of this jar. Hmm, are you okay? I wanna go back home! You're the person I'm looking for. You're gonna wanna trade something for it though, right? Uh, we won't last long now, will we? The sun can't fix the squares. The sun can't restore the land. My mommy is making food for everyone. I want to help her catch fish, but I'm not grown up yet. The island has more moss covering than our village did. Would have been nice to build a settlement here. Too late now, I guess. I'll talk to you. Oh, you're the trader guy. Sure am. You here to trade? Cause if you are, then I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back in my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. Managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left though. Oh, uh, do you have anything like gears? Gears? Like the metal spinny things? Don't think I have anything like that. Wait, I do have this box thing you can wind up and play a song. You think that's going to be useful on an airplane? It's a music box! Yeah. I bet there's lots of little metal bits in there. Oh, that might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Oh. Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? I'm gonna make you pay out the butt for it. Take it. Ah, uh, thank you! No, that was easy. No minigame? I can walk up to the squares. Our village was ransacked by the squares not long ago. Most of us made out alive, but we can't really go back anymore. Oh. Uh. Squares are bad news, man. Oh, hello, Messiah. Would you like some stew? I made enough to feed a whole village. Literally. 
It's okay, thanks. Looks like the gland is deteriorating faster than ever now. <laughs> and one more for good measure. So this is going a lot faster than the first playthrough. Um, it's just like, okay, here's a side quest. You gonna go do a mini game? No, nope, no, nope. you just find the person and, and ask them and they give you the stuff. It does, it does feel a little bit rushed and a little bit like they're just, uh, they're like, they were just like, uh, okay, well, it, it just have them go through it. it. It does feel a little bit more like um, fluff, like padding. Uh, there's enough new story that it feels fresh, but like the side stuff feels like padding, even more so than the first run through. Okay, man, we got your gears. We found a music box. It should have gears in it, right? Now, gears need to be made to very specific sizes and, and uh, thicknesses and and like the ring has to be the right size. Like if it's a ring or if it's a disc, then that has to be. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into gears and like a gear with like another gear, on smaller gear on top of it to turn at different sizes so that you can uh, turn bigger gears with more power. It's, yeah, you, you can't just take some random gears and slop, slap it on a machine and have it work. I assume so, but this looks like one of the one of the ones that my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes a lot of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember my father saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He did always love traveling this world, despite... Well... Ah, oh, sorry, I started rambling. The gears in there are compatible with the engine. Although it pains me to have to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. We still need a battery. And yeah, it's right here in my pocket. I mean my other pocket. No, my other pocket. No, I have the light bulb in my pocket. Okay, it's this pocket. We found a battery. Oh, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from a generator on one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. He was powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Uh, we can always just give it back later. Alright. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just have to disassemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. You mind keeping me company? How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around some of these parts. And there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck and... Uh. Don't worry, I'm making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Proto back first. And then we need to go find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. Do you remember her, her from the last time you were in this world? What does she look like? This is gonna sound strange, but she is a fox. Oh, I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue? The memories are still really blurry, though. I see. Uh, it's just hard, you know. Pro told me to think of this world like a dream. But then I get so caught up with, and I just kind of forget. 
I forget everything here is supposed to be not real. And then I remember, and then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing that none of it mattered in the first place. Am I just trapped here for no reason? Proto also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this, saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How do he know? How do you know? Aren't you old guys all supposed to be code? Well... I'm not sure what to even believe anymore. I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from pre-existing code. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. You may it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? If everyone in this world is code, how can he build himself? That's, uh, not really what happened. So what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with with all right all right did prototype ever tell you about the old world he did say something about being built to greet the messiah of the old world i was uh, too caught up with other stuff at the time to think about it ah you know of it at least then all right here we go my father myself the other two None of us are part of this simulation in itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. In the years leading up to the calamity, scientists from all the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world become everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophet bot, or prototype, was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. But as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the messiah was not even would not even have been a, had been born before our world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. 
How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is there's no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from the standard hardware, it also needed to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. <laughs> yeah, my little laptop uh, wouldn't be able to run that either. But luckily my little laptop isn't canon. So, <laughs> father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Uh. Father caught on to the issue in the, next, in the last minute, but he didn't have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code just kind of ended up floating in the void indefinitely waiting for a willing operator to install it under their own hardware Chris? Yep The operator, Chris, would then generate the universe using the code becoming God in the process Sweet. So Chris was a living person you needed to borrow? No that would be you. But why me? I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? <laughs> I do not know. We really need to get going. It's fixed. We can leave in the next five minutes if you're ready. Alright. I understand if you're upset. But please, try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us. And that includes you, Nico. The fact is you can't even go back home. I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... Hmm. The world means a lot to him, you know. So how does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You should already know what to expect. No, really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one, anyway. Ah. Well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. <laughs> it takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Oh, I should probably tell Calamus and Alula where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? <coughs> Nico! Bad news! The boat is gone. What? It's the squares. It looks like they're headed in this direction. It's fast. Calamus, right? Yeah. How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then it is a priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. But what about them? I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city? If you wish. Oh, yeah! Alright. I'll be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm hmm <laughs> The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. Alrighty then. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. All right. Yeah. Whew. 
made it. Uh. You okay there? Uh. That was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> Reactions from first timers are always delightful to watch. <laughs> hey Chris, that was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you got to watch it at least, right? And Cedric? Yeah. Thanks. What for? Flying! Duh. Oh, you're welcome. And for answering my questions back there too. And for telling me more about the world machine. I'm just really sorry about what happened to your old world though. So I'll help you the best I can. And even if it's all just a machine, this world is still nice. I mean, I got to fly, I got to see the ocean, and I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you. And Prototype, even if he's broken right now. I'm glad you're taking it so well, Nico. And I'm glad that we have met as well. Despite the circumstances. And speaking of Proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the siblings too. It's true. Those two have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, do you remember what to do to get to the surface? I remember having to fix an elevator button. Alright, you should attend to that then. Let's meet up here in an hour, okay? Got you. Alright, now let me just... Called it. Called it a, a millisecond before it happened. <gasps> no! They're trapped on the island! Kulamus! Aula! They're... We don't have much time left. Nico, change of plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. As likely I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The room behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. What room? She will know what to do in the meantime. Maybe the room with the clock, okay. Alright, what about you though? I'm gonna bring Prototype back. Whoa, okay, parachute. Uh, are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. Don't scare me like that. Hey Chris, let's do our best. Yeah. And with that, I'm going to end for the night. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>